Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today is both the happiest and saddest day of the year for me. We can discuss that in the live show tonight if you like, but right now the morning show is going to be a bit jumbled up and unusual because we've got an unusual situation. This is the endless spiral from Noah showing the CME that was supposed to arrive last night and didn't, it's late, and the CME from yesterday morning's X-Class solar flare expected tomorrow night. And then this morning, long duration X-Class solar flare once again from those northern sunspots. The group is still enormous, extremely complex, and retains the power to fire more X-Class solar flares today and tomorrow. The eruption began just about 900 UTC time, largely before daylight in the Americas, and ionized the upper atmosphere quite efficiently, degrading radio communications in the region. And when the polar area lights up here on the D region map, that means the solar flare struck an interplanetary magnetic field connection between the Earth and the Sun, and high energy protons were accelerated to relativistic speeds, and Earth is already in a polar proton radiation storm here this morning. Hopefully, this line stops going up at such a steep angle. And the eruptive component. After the flare, you see considerable plasma motion in the corona, even a bit of plasma helically wrapping around that same nearby filament as yesterday. But the broader signature tells us a CME bigger than yesterday's has erupted. And the very first coronagraph images have now been updated. I've been sitting here about an hour waiting for them. Full halo denser than yesterday's, and this one might catch yesterday's as well. The top story in tonight's live show will be any forecast or endlow updates that come out today. A multi-strike solar storm is on its way to Earth right now. The only other quick note I have, folks, tornadoes are not normal in Brazil, but they have been increasing lately. While our favorite academic snowflakes want to blame us and heat, the convective atmospheric potential energy responds dramatically to solar activity through the global electric circuit, especially at the nearby South Atlantic anomaly, and Earth's magnetic field is weakening protection against that solar activity in the ongoing magnetic pole shift, which is the explanation for why their tornadoes are increasing. Folks, the PDF of our eighth book, the latest textbook, is on sale now. Everything about how the sun impacts the earth and the disaster cycle unfolding now. The winter tour begins in less than three weeks, five cities in five months, and it's a master class in kickstarting your survival prepping. Dr. August Dunning is on his way to Colorado for the premiere of the documentary this weekend and the final pole shift conference of the year. Several other family and social events are going to close out the year at Observer Ranch, but those also always have a better chance for one-on-ones with me. The PDF and tour links are below, observerranch.com. And remember, big live stream coming tonight, and it will include the biggest announcement in the history of this channel. You need to be back here around 8 p.m. Mountain Time. Official notification for it coming later on X today. And we have crossed a line where if you aren't watching us on X, you are going to miss stuff. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.